The Internet is run by a short list of tech companies, five to be precise, Amazon, Alphabet, otherwise known as Google, eBay, Facebook, Liberty Interactive. They took in 70 percent of all online revenue. Now, that totals $300 billion in the past year alone. Matt Wittenheiler is here from Flybridge, Catherine Timpf, National Review, and, of course, a Fox contributor, and Scott Kernett, founder and CEO of Keep.com. Is this frightening that five companies control 70% of the market, Matt? I think it just shows that the Internet has matured, and we're now at a point where there's some big players, and those big players will change over time. So it doesn't personally concern me, just like it doesn't concern me that maybe four and Chrysler control a lot of the car market. All right, fair point. Kat? Right, this is kind of just what happens, and a lot of times technology moves a little faster than we really know what to do with that technology. And I think when we see something like this, people say, whoa, but what else would have happened? Because so much business is being conducted online, so why wouldn't mere business being done everywhere else? Yeah, and the people who were there first, invested first, right. they have the big footprint. Scott, what's your take? I can only say nice things about these five companies, exactly. because if I don't, we're all toast. Yeah. But it, no, I, I think that they've said it properly, is that it, it's matured, but it's still, unlike certain things like cable, it's still a wide open market. So we do see and will see new players uh, come and go, uh, and that's good. So let me ask you then, if this is the mature business, so virtual reality seems to be still maturing, still in process, right. and Google is saying we're going to give free equipment to schools, these headsets, where they can really go around the world, I mean, from the Great Wall of China to the face of Mars and back. So Google is saying we'll give it to you free for the first year, then schools, you have to pay up. But what do you think of this? Cooler so, than a textbook anyway, right? So virtual reality is for real. It's it's coming. And the fact that they do it with a phone and cardboard versus uh, Oculus which is more sophisticated equipment, uh, is, is goodness. The fact that they're getting it into the schools now is brilliant. So they're using previous market forces and power. So that's a, an interesting issue to capture the new market called education, where we're not going to use textbooks so and other things. So the was just like, they didn't know what else to do with this thing. The gamers were saturated. Let's go push it on schools. No. Not, not, not a chance. I mean, Apple did this playbook in the 90s with computers in classrooms. And what happens? The kid comes home. He says, Mom and Dad, I want a Mac computer because that's what I learned at school. Yeah. They're going to come home and they're going to say, I want to play with this virtual reality I feel like this is thing. a little uh, bit like having cartoon characters to sell cigarettes. I, but all right, I'm, just, I'm watching that and it kind of creeps me out a little bit. I, I don't know if I watch too much Twilight Zone at home with my dad. <laughs> but we just, uh, I don't know. What if we can do everything via virtual reality? No one does anything. Then we're all done for. And then you're just sitting in a classroom instead of we're actually saving going. for a trip to China. I really like to read books, too. Paper books. Isn't that crazy? You better do it very Isn't that fast. Wild? Exactly. I read one today. You better do it fast because you're going to disappear. <laughs> Although, actually, you and Jeff Bezos can sit down over a paper book in Seattle since the only you know, way they're I open in it. a bookstore. Why yeah. not? Thank you all. Mm -hmm. That is Matt and Kat and Scott.